Hello, it's me Becca again, and thank you so much for watching. In my last video, I talked about overwhelm a lot for like 20 minutes, and I shared four tips. And today I want to break those down into significantly shorter videos, starting with tip number one. Tip number one is question yourself, but don't judge yourself. So for me, when I'm feeling overwhelmed by things, and it seems like a lot of us probably are these days, I have ADHD, which makes me feel overwhelmed a lot, but I know a lot of people are feeling super overwhelmed with COVID and everything else going on in the world right now. So this is for all of us. When we are feeling overwhelmed and just in general, it's really good, I think, to ask ourselves a lot of questions, like very specific questions that help us to understand ourselves better without judging ourselves. So some of the questions that can be really helpful um, one is the HALT method, which many of you probably have heard of. It's fairly popular. It's just, are you hungry, angry, lonely, or tired? And I like to add thirsty on there because I think a lot of us are dehydrated, which statistics show is also accurate. So I add thirsty. So HALT to TEH, I guess. Um, yep. Anyway, so the HALT method is something you can use if you're feeling really overwhelmed. Are you taking care of your physical needs is the basic concept and we can add in have you showered like do you need more sleep do you need to get up and take a break and just walk around and stretch a bit to kind of refresh your brain if you're feeling burned out at the computer do you need to stop washing the dishes for 20 minutes do you need to have some quiet time where you stop talking to people <laughs> etc so physical and emotional needs if you have something you've been putting off or you just feel like you have way too much going on. What specifically do you feel you have going on that is too much for you? I personally have parenting to do. I've got a toddler next to me who I'm keeping out of this video for privacy reasons. Um, I've got four other kids, which is nuts. I know four kids, five kids, so many. I'm losing track. Just kidding. But do you have a lot of housework that you're behind on? Do you have habits that are maybe making life kind of pile up on you instead of dealing with things a little at a time. That's me. Absolutely. Like to a T 100%. Do you have other things going on that are making you struggle? Can you pinpoint anything specific that is making things difficult for you is the essence of this tip. So for me, I think about the concept of having too many plates in the air. I kind of feel like I more have too many plates on the table or like on the dirty dishes counter and I've got to figure out which plates I need to keep spinning and which plates I should probably like pack away into storage for a while after I wash them or what have you. Um, cause I tend to have a lot of interests and that sometimes can divide my focus. And when your focus is divided on so many different things, it's hard to do any one thing well. And that is something that is definitely a thing for me. So this channel is something I'm trying to focus on. Um, pacing myself is something I'm trying to focus on, just building little habits and not trying to finish everything, which I'll touch on more in a later video. Another thing I'm trying to focus on is finding an internship position for my graduate school, um, graduate degree, I guess. I'm going into clinical mental health counseling, as I've mentioned previously. So I'm looking for, for an internship spot, which is the same thing essentially as job hunting. I'm good, Max, how are you? Oh, good. That's my toddler. Cute little buddy. Might edit this out. Might not. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, I'm working on trying to figure out how to edit YouTube videos and I'm home all the time, but I've also got like super messed up shoulders and weird stuff with my body because I have this crazy thing called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, which makes my fingers do things like this and my wrists like bend down and the thumbs touch and it's weird and elbows. I think I've done this on here before, but you know what? It doesn't matter because this video is a different video. It's all brand new. Woohoo. So yeah, that's tip one for dealing with overwhelm. What is really, really making you feel overwhelmed? Are you thinking of things in holes instead of in pieces? Um, that's another great question I think that we can ask ourselves because for me, I struggle to get started with a task because I think about the entire task or like a project or an assignment or housework or whatever it may be. I think about the whole thing and I think, oh my gosh, it's so much. I have to do so much and it's so overwhelming and it's just holy crap. And then I kind of forget that I don't have to do it all at the same time. Hi. Yeah. Hi, Max. I don't have to do it all at the same time. So that can be really uh, helpful. I think when you're overwhelmed to just think about, am I 
am I thinking about everything at once? Am I making myself go crazy because I'm thinking about like this entire 15 page paper I have to write and the eight academic sources I have to have for it? Or like, am I thinking about, about rebuilding this entire car engine all at one time? And I really want to get started on it, but it's just so much to do. That's just a random example because I don't just want to be all academic and stuff. That's just my, my thing, but you know, actually rebuilding a car engine sounds really cool too. Anyway, um, tangent ADHD. Woohoo. I am going to leave this video here, I think, because I want to break this down into chunks because overwhelm, I don't want to overwhelm everybody with too much in one video. If you want more information before I publish a new video, you're welcome to check out my other video on overwhelm. It's a lot longer. And there's more to it, but that's okay. Perfect is the enemy of good. I'm learning and I'm working on it, which is great. Anyway, question yourself, but don't judge yourself. It is okay if you hate the tasks that go along with parenting. It is okay if you don't want to feed your kids because it's annoying to stop what you're doing and get food. Yeah, that's me. I'm not ashamed. I love my kids, love spending time with them. I hate stopping what I'm doing ever because I forget what I was doing. And then it's hard to get back to it and it's frustrating and you know pain again sometimes it can be difficult to go and have to do physical related things so yeah and but that's a good thing for me to know about myself because it's something I can I can acknowledge and I can work through it or I can figure out other ways like my kids are very independent individuals despite, despite being pretty young and we buy a lot of like healthy food like fruit and like vegetables and snacks that are are decently healthy that they are able to go and get on their own and they feed themselves pretty well and they're even learning how to like fry an egg. It's awesome. They can grill grilled cheese on the on the George Foreman grill and all that jazz. Still working on the cleaning up after that stuff aspect, but super cool stuff. And it's partly because I know that about myself that I would rather teach my kids to do something because that's engaging for me and it teaches them good life skills than have to like go fry an egg every single time my kid wants me to fry an egg because literally standing at the stove kind of hurts and I don't want really to do that. But I love teaching my kids to do it. And they are definitely at a place where they are learning and doing well. And they love doing it. And so it's really cool. So yeah, um, it's okay to have whatever feelings you have. It's okay to have feelings that might be generally considered to be kind of taboo or inappropriate or whatever. Um, just, uh, just be honest and be graceful with yourself. Um, and that's going to be the topic of the second video in this little mini series about overwhelm. We'll be uh, dealing with shame and trying to basically avoid it. So we're going to get more into the not judging yourself aspect of questioning yourself. Um, but I will save that for the next video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Perfect is the enemy of good, like I've said several times. So I don't know whether this video will even get edited before it gets posted, but eventually they will. I'm getting there. Thank you again for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.